I'm Amira David with your 7 Action News headlines. Developing tonight out of Wayne County, crews rushing to clean up an oil spill in the Rouge River. State officials tell us a 55 gallon drum was the source of the leak and is tied to a business on Michigan Avenue. The Western Wayne County hazmat team is putting booms in the water to soak up the soil. The county team will also lead the investigation into the spill. We'll keep you posted on any updates, both on air and online. Detroit police need your help to find the man wanted in connection with the deadly hit and run crash. This happened on Friday, August 5th at Algonquin and Kircheville, just north of Jefferson on the city's east side. Officers there working to identify this man pictured here. They believe he was involved in a crash that killed a woman in her 20s. Police not yet releasing any other information about the victim. But if you have information, call DPD or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Incredible planes on display for Oakland County International Airport's 35th annual open house and air show. The air show featured the Misty Blues and all women skydiving team parachuting and performing death defying stunts. Families were able to check out World War II aircraft and military vehicles, as well as the Oakland County Sheriff and University of Michigan survival flight helicopters. The Oakland County International Airport is ranked the world's 12th busiest general aviation airport with an average of 120,000 takeoffs and landings annually. Quick check on the forecast with meteorologist Mike Taylor, who's going to let us know when sun will return. Hey, Mike. Hey, Amira, we'll be stuck in the clouds for the rest of this evening. Sunset's going to be around 8.35 p.m. After that, the skies will slowly be clearing up. We have a few showers to get through for this evening.